This YouTube video was taken over the weekend in Saskatoon. Hundreds of adults and children marched from downtown up the Broadway Bridge chanting freedom and other slogans. They waved signs saying that masks and vaccines are dangerous. Other signs warned that our governments were using the pandemic to establish a dictatorship. One psychiatrist says these claims are nonsense. All the evidence shows that masks and vaccines save lives. She said she feels bad for people who fall victim to these conspiracy theories. She believes the protesters represent only a small minority of the population. She hopes everyone will look at the facts and not be swayed by emotion or the lies circulating on social media. If COVID overwhelms our system, that affects everybody. That affects um, what happens if you break your arm. That affects what happens if you come in because you're depressed. That affects, um, you know, if you're in a car accident. Uh, so I think people, people have a bit of, you know, blinders on for for what COVID means or um, how it may or may not affect them um, and so I think clearly we need to be doing more in terms of um, how we're educating or speaking to the public. Hintz says Premier Scott Moe and others need to be far more vocal in their support for COVID-19 safety measures. She says the weak public statements from leaders are emboldening the conspiracy theorists. We absolutely need to be hearing really clear and strong language from our leaders condemning these things. Uh, silence on the issue, people interpret as um, approval um, or being complicit with it. And so um, we, need, we need our healthcare leaders, we need our politicians in no uncertain terms to say, this is not something we approve of. This is, you know, we need to condemn this. Um, this is not a forward step. Um, in getting out of this pandemic. Later today, Mo did respond to questions about the rallies. This most certainly is a new level of problematic when it comes uh, to these types of protests. Not only are they breaking the law themselves, they're encouraging others to do so. And I, I think this is where you will see law enforcement officials actually use their judgment and likely step in in, in many cases. As of this afternoon, 143 people with COVID are in hospital across Saskatchewan. Hints said the public and leaders can do their part to bend the curve by loudly and clearly condemning the conspiracy theories. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.